So we were able to have the vote put off until November in which we're going mm. to then have to subsequently have another conversation about it. So when you bring up like the fact that we need to be doing things to fight ice, like I promise you, literally we are doing everything and trying to use every tactic that we can to get the policy change, to prolong the point so that we can try to get more information to convince our other board members, but it's difficult. Right. Charlottesville, we appoint we have four members, Albemarle has four members, and Nelson has three members. Mm. If the four of us, well, not even all four of our members at the time were in agreement, three out of our four members from the city were in agreement. Uh, in agreement. At the meeting Thursday, it seems like we may have had one or two more, but we still would have lost, right. which is why we said, let's hold this off until the next meeting so that we could try to figure out how to get more information. So believe you me, that's a long story, and that's all mm -hmm. of it, but we are trying our hardest to stop ICE. Thank you. But we're in a, a jurors, we're in a jail board that's not, that doesn't consist just of us. Yeah, and then so do you think it would be, you know, even even taking the steps to apply as a sanctuary city as just Charlottesville? Um, Somebody was listening. All right, man. <laughs> <laughs> so even even to apply for, you know, going through the steps which you said that you would be willing to take and that you would place that on an agenda mm -hmm. of such. Um, in a certain time frame. Legislative packet. Le yeah, November. legislative packet. Right. Okay. Is it January, right? Well, or we have to put it together well, in November. We pull it we together in November. So you'll put it together in November and then you'll have it ready by January. For the general assembly. Okay. It's one of many things that, yeah. That's fine. But as long as it's one. Mm -hmm. So the question, but, the question has to become. As long as it's up. on there. I mean, that, now, I mean, it's important. So we, have, I know we have to go, but just the question, the question in hand is, is if we choose to do that because ICE pretty much knows they, they, their state, the head of the state ICE person was at the meeting, uh, the representatives are there. They're very clear that Charlottesville, we don't rock with ICE. We don't want you here. It's no, we don't, we don't want anything to do with you. No. However, the issue no. becomes is that I think for last year from the city, there were only eight individuals picked up, if I'm not mistaken. The large majority of them come from Albemarle County, the undocumented people who get, uh, who picked up. So one thing, one of the things that we fear is that, well, I can't say we, I can only speak for myself. One of the things I fear is if we take an even bolder stance and saying, because we've already told them, we don't rock with you at all. If we tell them again, look, we're going to be a sanctuary city and completely to hell with y'all, is that going to have an unintended consequence on our neighbors in the county? And specifically in Southwood, well, then we is that going to put out. a bigger target on that community? Like, All right, we have, we have yeah. to move on. Sorry, thank you. I'm just, yeah, I'm just giving okay. you the information. Okay, thank you. All right. Good evening, hey, no, Don Gabbard. Undocumented city government cannot help you. Um, let me ask you before I get started. How many slides do you have left? Um, three. Okay, good. All right, and. You may not want to hear it, but I'm going to go right back on the, on the sister's back and piggyback what she was just saying. You mentioned that there's a slot available right now on the board, for, on the ACRJ board. Yes. Okay. I think it's important that the citizens of Charlottesville know, first of all, where the council stands on this issue, and also that you will go through an incredible vetting process before making that appointment to bring on who I assume would be a voting member to go uh, on the board, on the jail board, correct? Yeah. Okay. Yes. That you go through an incredible vetting process to make sure that we're putting someone in place on, in that position that will indeed uphold what it is that the city stands for, what we say we stand for, and what it is that we want from that individual. Okay. Thank you. 